One original song by our pastor, Dr. Brad Winnegar, has gotten strong approval by those who have commented how it truly resonates with them. Hello, my name is Tyler Candy. I'm the media director here at Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. Thank you so much for spending your time with us today. We are in a subscription campaign right now. If you'd like to learn more about this, you can click on the link in the card above or in the description below. Short version is that we need you to like and share this video with those that you know. This will allow our channel to be seen by many people with the hopes that we will continue to grow our platform. If you aren't subscribed yet, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and tap the notification bell icon as well so that you can be notified of new videos each and every day. And what song resonates with so many listeners? Here it is again. Jesus and friends brought me safe to the end of a long and challenging journey. Listen and see if you identify with the message of this song. Jesus and friends brought me safe to the end of a long and challenging journey. Through the tears and the smiles, even difficult miles, I'm glad that I kept on learning. Satan often attacked, tried to get me off track. But Jesus and friends always helped me get back. We just walked in the light, blood washed and right. With Jesus and friends, there's no turning. Jesus and friends brought me safe to the end of a long and challenging journey. Through the tears and the smiles, even difficult miles, I'm glad that I kept on learning. Satan often attacked, tried to get me off track. But Jesus and friends always help me get back. We just walked in the light, blood washed and right. With Jesus and friends, there's no turning. With Jesus and friends, there's no turning. With Jesus and friends, there's no turning. Yes, Jesus and friends, what a great thought. When I wrote that song, I thought about all the ways and all the times that Jesus brought me through something. And many times there were other believers, fellow believers, who had either been through something similar or the Lord put in our way so that we might, uh, might have fellowship even in difficult times. When Baptists talk about fellowship, they're usually talking about stopping somewhere after a church service with uh, other members of the same church and perhaps having a, uh, a bite to eat. And that's certainly good. And if spiritual talk takes place and there's the encouraging that takes place uh, of each other, then that's fellowship. That truly is. But fellowship is not defined simply as, you know, a cup of coffee and a piece of pie. But fellowship is folks who are on the same page. The Bible says in 1 John, if we walk in the light as he's in the light, we have fellowship one with another. Sometimes, however, we find ourselves huh, pretty much alone except for the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'd like to share a scripture from the New Testament in, in 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy and chapter 4. Paul is saying in verse 17, notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me. He was abandoned by many others, uh, left on his own, just kind of kind of swing in the wind, so to speak. But it says, the Lord stood with me, look, and strengthened me, stood with him and strengthened him, that by me the preaching might be fully known and that all the Gentiles might hear, and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. Satan will do his worst to try to discourage you and stop you. And when you feel like you're totally abandoned, nobody's caring for you and, and you're all alone and what's it worth, you know, wh who cares if I go on, if I stand for Jesus? It does matter. It does. We care and Jesus cares and the devil would like nothing better than to put you out of the game, put you on the bench and keep you from being a blessing to others. Jesus and friends brought me safe to the end of a long and challenging journey 
Through the tears and the smiles, even difficult miles, I'm glad that I kept on learning. Satan often attacked, tried to get me off track, but Jesus and friends always helped me get back. We just walked in the light, blood washed and right. With Jesus and friends, there's no turning. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for those who have encouraged and those to whom we can be an encouragement today. Help us, Lord, to, to lift up the fallen and, uh, and fulfill uh, that ministry that you've given us. And while our heads are bowed and eyes are closed, if you've never received Christ right now, would you do that? Would you call on the name of the Lord? Pray something like this. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me. And right now I receive the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart as my personal Savior. And if you've done that, let us know. We love to rejoice with you. And those that are winning souls, keep on. Don't give up. Don't give up. The end is in sight. Thank God for that. Right now, let's pray for those that may be just about ready to quit. Lord, I pray for those that are just about to step off the playing field and just hang it up and, and quit in their Christian walk for you, Lord. I pray that you'll encourage them even with this devotional right now to go on knowing that you're going to stand by us and strengthen us that we might make a difference. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Sing it with me. Jesus and friends brought me safe to the end of a long and challenging journey. Through the tears and the smiles, even difficult miles, I'm glad that I kept on learning. Satan often attacked, tried to get me off track. But Jesus and friends always helped me get back. We just walked in the light, blood washed and right. With Jesus and friends, there's no turning. With Jesus and friends, there's no turning. With Jesus and friends, there's no turning. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.